In my previous Twin Famicom repair video, I missed an additional audio fix that's pretty significant in terms of audio output. In this video, I'll show you what I was missing, so let's get scruffy looking. Who's scruffy looking? Hey there, refurbers and scruffy looking nerverters. It's me, Scruffy Looking RGB. Today I'll show you how to improve the overall audio output volume on the Twin Famicom AN500R. This is best performed alongside the previous video I did that covers the blaring expansion audio. That fix balances the expansion audio of the disk system section of this Twin Famicom. I've left a link to that video in the description below. Today's fix will focus on the power board that houses the specific resistor R201. Yet another mistake from the factory is that this resistor is much too high of a value at 8.2 kilo ohms. We'll replace it with a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor I picked up from Sengoku Densho in Akihabara. So let's get scruffy looking. resistor has been swapped, so let's take a listen to the before and after results. I think it's pretty apparent how much of a difference that made. I recommend doing these fixes on your AN500R if you haven't already. Thank you to the folks in the comments who reminded me of this fix. These are very simple fixes and they make a huge difference in the sound output for the AN500R. Let me know down in the comments if you have or plan on fixing these issues on your Twin Famicom in the future. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share as it really helps the channel you can purchase any of the tools from my videos on Amazon links below as I'm an affiliate and earn from qualifying purchases. Or you can become a channel member to get special perks and help out a struggling fellow nerf herder. Big shout out and thanks to the current members. Your support is much appreciated. Stay safe everyone, but above all, stay scruffy looking. Who's scruffy looking?